Hi, welcome once again to Strand's Mother and Child Hair Care series. So today's episode will be looking at my hair care product as a new mom. Stay tuned. clarifying shampoo here yeah, I'm using the ORS um, um, shampoo that contains sulfate which is a clarifying shampoo now I use that clarifying shampoo to wash my hair at least once a month to get rid of all those dead that are stuck in my hair to make my hair very 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 clean I have another shampoo that I use um, this is a um, sulfate free shampoo and i'm using the share moisture low porosity protein free shampoo because i have low porosity hair so i'm trying to reduce the level of protein that enters my hair strands my strands of hair so that's what i use together with the clarifying shampoo so i alternate it next is my protein treatment which i use um the um, ors replenishing conditioner is a light protein conditioner and the next one i use is my olive oil mayonnaise it's not ors product so i combine these two for my protein treatment because i have low porosity here so i don't need an intensive protein treatment i just need a light protein treatment and this works for me as well next is my moisturizing conditioner yeah i use them um, the eden body works natural deep conditioner this conditioner does not um, um it doesn't contain um, protein so it's a moisture conditioner next is my leave-in conditioner so yeah i also use the sheer moisture low porosity protein free leave-in detangler this is what i apply after i finish washing my hair you don't wash this conditioner out unlike the other deep conditioner next on the list is my hair moisturizer so yeah i use the ors incredibly rich oil moisturizing hair lotion i really love this hair lotion um i use it to moisturize my hair so after applying the leave-in conditioner i apply this to my hair strands and you don't wash it the next on my list is my mixture of oils so yeah this is my applicator bottle so yeah i have my extra virgin olive oil my jamaican black castor oil my sweet almond oil avocado oil <laughs> all these are natural oils i also have my peppermint oil how many is that i think it's five mm. so these are the oils that i mix into it i try to keep it simple for my low porosity relaxed hair and i apply it here which makes it easy to just apply it after i put my leave-in conditioner my hair moisturizer then i put this to seal in that moisture and um, the next thing i have here is my white tooth comb so you see the teeth um, are white they are far away from each other that's what you call a white tooth comb so i use this comb to detangle my hair before i wash it and it's a very 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 good detangler the very last thing you need is but not the least because it's very 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 important is your satin or silk material here i have my satin pillowcase which is very 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 useful so that you retain that moisture in your hair you don't want to lay your head on a cutting um, pillowcase now as a new mom before um, when you go and give birth when you go to hospital and give birth the hospital um, clothes on your bed or the bed sheet they provide um, pillowcase is not made of satin so I do um, advise you to take this and um, put on your bed so that after you deliver you can rest your <laughs> your strands of hair on on this to protect them from um, loss of moisture if you can't get this then you get a certain bonnet or hair um, cap to rest your head and if you don't want to use a bed and um, a pillowcase you can get a satin or silk bed sheet and spread all over the hospital bed to protect your hair from loss of moisture that's all for today's episode um next episode we'll be looking at my hair care regimen so do stay tuned